Nice little username there in Fisher Firuzia. The third best and the 136th best player of all time. Yeah, let's, let's take some of the challenge here. Ocean Storm is a Grandmaster. Let's not exaggerate, guys. We just started. Let's not, let's not take the Grandmaster. Let's take someone with a random with a random account, with a random name, that just seems attractive. D4, Knight of Six. Yeah, stop playing, stop playing with my rating, guys. That's becoming a bit embarrassing. I mean, uh, what is this stream if, if not if not an opportunity for my for my mods to roast me? Like, there's really no other reason for me to stream apart from that. Space three. Rook A2 back. Yeah, I'm not going to accept the draw, of course. We're not in the charity business here. And a queen check comes. Another queen check. Okay, now you are pre-moving. This is very smart, but I can also pre-move a mate in two. Okay, thank you for the game. And it's... It wasn't rated. I mean, okay, I'm just... Okay, I'm done. So, so sorry, guys. I'm not going to to banter anymore. This was unrated. This was freaking unrated. No, I mean, okay. Most chickenish, most chickenish way to play. I mean. Unrated. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. <laughs> okay, if if anyone can replace me in this banter, sorry. Okay, let's play against. Julia Brazil is 3 plus 2, but this will be my uh, zero revenge, so I'll make this game last forever. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Such a beast. Yeah, okay, this is my class. Okay. Good game. What were saying? Uh, let's briefly see if uh, Frenchman has challenged me. It's hard to find. Probably should go to his account and see. Ooh, H6, H3. Hello, G5. You can see it coming, eh? Mate? It's funny now, eh? Harry Giri. Oh, Knight H2. Like this. Knight H2. Please don't hit me. Oh, don't hit me. Boom. You don't accept my challenge. Ah, okay, I'll accept. <laughs> I didn't see a challenge. You're too afraid. I'm not afraid. I didn't see a challenge. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you go, please? I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, gonna please. sit next to you. No, no, can you please go? Playing. No, no, please. Can you go somewhere else? <laughs> okay, no Frenchman. Next is me. Yeah, okay. And you, Chuck. Okay. No Frenchman. <sighs> Being tossed around here by my wife. Hello, Miss Tactics. Hello there. <laughs> Sofika, we get a play before my manager is back in the office. Ooh. That's, uh. I think your manager should understand and challenge me as well. I've also been told many a time. Young, just fix the shit. 
stop asking the audience if they can hear or see you and also stop cursing. I believe that type of feedback has been given to me more than once, probably like thrice. Nice little username there in Fisher Firuzia. The third best and uh, nice little username there in Fisher Firuzia. The third best and uh, 136th best player of all time. Yeah, let's let's take some of the challenge here. Ocean Storm is a grandmaster. Let's not exaggerate, guys. We just started. Let's not let's not take the grandmaster. Let's take someone with a random with a random account with a random name that just seems attractive. D four. Knight of six. Yeah, stop playing, stop playing with my rating, guys. That's becoming a bit embarrassing. I mean, uh, what is this stream if if not if not an opportunity for my for my mods to roast me? Like, there's really no other reason for me to stream apart from that. Space three. Rook A2 back. Yeah, I'm not going to accept a draw, of course. We're not in the charity business here. And the queen check comes. Another queen check. Okay, now you are pre-moving. This is very smart, but I can also pre-move a mate in two. Okay, thank you for the game. And it's... It wasn't rated. I mean, okay, I'm just... Okay, I'm done. So, so sorry, guys. I'm not going to to banter anymore. This was unrated. This was freaking unrated. No, I mean, okay. Most chickenish, most chickenish way to play. I mean. Unrated. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. <laughs> okay, if if anyone can replace me in this banter, sorry. Okay, let's play against. Julia Brazil is 3 plus 2, but this will be my uh, zero revenge, so I'll make this game last forever. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. 
Such a beast. Yeah, okay, this is pointless. Okay. Good game. What were we saying? There. Okay. Uh. Let's briefly see if uh, Frenchman has challenged me. It's hard to find. Probably should go to his account and see. Ooh, H6, H3. Hello, G5. Welcome back, everyone. I had my uh, quick break there, some coffee. And let's attempt some of this tactics frenzy. I haven't done this before. Uh, let's see how it goes. Start with some random. It looks like through this check, win the bishop. The, that diagonal looks very vulnerable. Uh, just win the rook. Do you have more? Looks like the king's running. Let's just take the rook. That bishop's trapped on e7. Oh, a king point ending. Tricky. Um, I guess I'm not going to win any races. So I need to defend the pawn on g7. Just add some checks and force that king back. This one looks like a double mate. Right, what's going on here? Take the knight with the check. Oh, not take that with the queen. That was mate and one with the rook. Can pick up that queen. Uh, rook f5, maybe? Do anything stronger? I don't see an immediate threat. Let's just take the queen. Oh, my first mistake, I think. So these I'm trying to do a tempo, try and get some speed going compared to the checkmate patterns that I did uh, last time where I tried to take my time and figure out. But I might have to take my time if I'm going to mess them up. Okay, here we have a pretty mate. So we've got various checks here, how to get the rook involved. Or do we just win the bishop? We're not getting mate, so let's win the bishop. Ooh, okay. So we want to play b6 when the king is in the corner so that we have opposition. So if we go b4, king a8, b5, king b6, that can be a b6, king a8. So therefore, we should play b3. So I can win a knight here. That looks like a rook. Okay, so we have to stop the C-pawn from promoting. Don't think we've got any tricks with mate, so this rook should come back and stop the pawn. Uh, looks like bishop f6, and then deflection. Uh, right, what's this one? Take on. F6. Bishop takes. Queen D6 check. King C8. Queen B8 check. So at least to draw. Try to start and then see if I can find a win afterwards. Ready one check. King E8 doesn't look like it's the right way. Oops, nope, that was a big mistake. Uh, right. Mate throw on e8. But the rook's pinned. But we can't just take an f2. Can we just go rook h1? Queen d8, check king g7. With the pin, there is only one check, right? I can take. <coughs> this must be the pin. Uh, 
Uh, can we just turn this knight here? Queen g2, we're not getting mated. They've got a square for the king. Uh, so queen g1, check. And then rook takes is the threat. Uh, so how are we dealing with it? Queen takes g8, king takes, and then start checking. Let's try that. Nope. Mm. Okay. Well, this isn't going to be the best of starts. Uh, five seconds. I need a move. Uh, I don't think it's that one. Okay. Not 18. What was the last one? Well, I hope that made it easy to improve. From a very low start. I'll play in the banter, please. It must be a rucksack and that H5 check. Right, king f7, queen f4 check. That is going to be mate. Force king to decide in the end. Uh, Rook g6 check, king h3 doesn't look like it's getting anywhere. There's a big mate throw on f8. Rook h4 check is the pretty move. G takes h4. Is there a follow up there? Queen g2 check, king takes f4. Doesn't look like it. What else do we have? Nor do we just need to make a draw here? So rook h4, g h is not working right. The king's running into the center. I don't see a way of defending the bishop. So rook takes g3 check. It's just one check. So it looks like I just have to make the draw here. Draw puzzles are always tricky because you see them, but you are looking for more. Whereas if it's a win, if you've got mate, then just play the mate. Something to b6. If knight b6, bishop g4, so I guess bishop b6. Knight e3, falling queen and rook. Looks straightforward. Yeah, that knight is hanging with some checks. Knight or bishop. Queen takes e8. Swap everything, knight f8. Looks like it should be okay for us. Mm. I think the bishop then we have a threat at the end. But then the rook can recapture. Mm. Or we take on g6. Maybe knight, it's knight f6, clever, one of the knights. Go this one. Nope, it wasn't. I wanted to defend the rook so that things weren't. Okay, this must just be a draw. We're a lot of material down. And how now? So the root takes. I want to play root one takes f7. Root takes root, root takes rook. Yeah, that looks like it. Use this fork. Just e5, it's had queen and bishop. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that one was that I got wrong. Knight e2, then knight g4 is very annoying. Is it queen e2? Nope. Okay, I wonder why. Okay, let's foreclose. Uh, <clears throat> if I take the rook, there are no checks. We're threatening something big. I think we want to get rid of the other queen and then we get the knight in the process. Uh, ah, the pawn's coming this way. Or is that delay at the start for figuring out which way the pawns go? Uh, well, I should know. Oh, no time. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm, 
Ah, I thought I was white trying to control rather than black trying to win. <laughs> oh, I did a lot worse than the first time. You were right. Pel, Pele, Pele. 18 was a good score. Okay. Let's see if I can get on some sort of streak. Uh, that can't be easier. Right. Let's try and not make the errors this time, if possible. This is a weird position with the king on c5. Uh, so look at all the checks. Not seen one that's good yet. Yeah, if I rotate c2 and just try and simplify his b4 check mating me. It looks like it. So, root takes b2, playing queen check allows a queen g1, h1, bishop f1. And root t1 checking a2 to have a good follow up there. Not that I can see. Let's try root takes b2. No, that wasn't it. Hmm. This is the pattern I can see. Double threat. Pick up that bishop. Pick up that bishop. And this one should be mate. And that should be the queen. A few straightforward ones popping up. The algorithm was taking pity on me. This one's probably a bit trickier. I want to play bishop f3 and say that there's nowhere that queen can hide. So we block the check and then we attack the queen. Does the shape forward fork? Uh, my queen's attacked two ways, so I guess I have to just take the rook. <clears throat> Crash through and win the queen in the process. I guess take the rook and then mate. Mate again. There's an interesting mix of puzzles here. <laughs> some incredibly hard, at least for me. And some straightforward. I presume that there's going to be mate here. Knight f6 check, king f5. D Where's the mate there? G6 check, king takes. Castle, that is going to be mid. I'm not sure if it was the fastest. Mm, pawn takes pawn. Anyone? And I think I'm taking one of the knights. I think I'm taking on C3, so the other one is still hanging. Any threat, or can I? Can I? Can I be greedy and grab another pawn? Yes, seems to be the answer. Okay, rook threaten, rook f1, mate. That's a knight. Uh, what's this one? Knight c4, and then both rook and bishop are hanging. Uh, I guess I'll grab that knight as well. So on the next one, I'll try the just hard as well and see how that goes. But I think that's going to be very tough. Do I just run out of the pin here with king b6 to a6? Or can I play knight d6? Knight d6. Seems a bit scary. No, would be five check. Okay, let's just run. Okay, I've got mate there. And that's a knight. <clears throat> now, how am I getting at this king? 
I don't see it straight away. I want the rook on the seventh. Oh, I'm not. I'm just winning the trapped rook. Okay, the wrong bit of the board. Okay, there's a knight. And that's a bat rank. And that's a rook. And so King says G2 can be seven check and then pin, so I should take a rook first. Now I can take on F6, but I don't think I want to. Okay, that's a queen. So what is it now? E6, E6, A, B. Do have a good move there. I'm sure I'll play the check. I'll take this pawn on a5. With the pawn, then the queen c5 is probably with the queen. Nope, not with the queen. Oh, two seconds. Uh, ah. Oh well. I had a streak of 26 there. 27 is better. Now I'll just uh, bear with me. I'll just refresh <clears throat> and see if we can switch to hard as well. This is going to be tough. I wasn't doing very well on random. I guess we have one H6. Yeah, that should have been. This that one I didn't need to calculate more than a move ahead. It was thematic stuff. Oh, what's going on here? So I want knight to five to defend the knight, but consider the queen at the moment. I guess we go e6. Put this root in. I just keep checking. I've got knight h5 as well. So both appears to win the exchange. Hmm. Queen h8 check. Knight g8. I'm probably going to play the wrong one. This looks better to me. But yeah, that was the wrong one. Ah, I wonder why. Okay, now I need my king to join. So I need to check. Then, in principle, I want my rook as far away from that king as possible. Now, what do we take? I want to sack one of these knights. Take this way? Nope. Hmm. I have to stop and think a bit more. So rook c8 check wins the queen. King e7, knight c6 check. <clears throat> that should be enough, right? Do I want to throw rook d8 check? I think I do. I don't know whether it's completely necessary. Just that way I can fork king and bishop at the end. Okay, do I set my queen for a draw? Seeing as queen d8 mate is a rather big threat, I think I have to be very happy with the draw. Okay, queen takes f7 is an unpleasant threat. Also queen takes a8. I doubt I can deal with both. So... Is there really any way I can allow queen takes f7? It looks unlikely with the other rook hanging. So do I just need to play bishop b6? And take the bishop. That should be better there still. So I can take with the bishop and play king e6. Or I can take with the queen and drop back. If I take with the bishop, then rook b1 and the rook enters the game. Of tempo, so I'll take the other way. <clears throat> Is there a pretty mate here? Rook 6 check. No, the king can go back to h6. Okay, 
So rook f5, check. And kind of trust that I'm getting some mating net. Let's try it. Nope, it wasn't. Being panicky by the clock. Win the queen, I guess. Nope. Oh dear. Now this time, win the queen. Yes. Uh, now queen c4. Defense the bishop and friends mate. Yeah, I got one right. Yeah, we're just going to have to guess. Let's take the knight and hope. Do I take an f2 at this point? This. Uh, another random position. Nope, that wasn't it. Seven. Okay. Seven's the score to beat. Let's see if being slow and steady works better. So both bishop and knight are hanging. So I go bishop b4 and get my own threats. He'll take my knight and I can discover my rook somewhere. Rook takes f3. Attacking the one on e1 as well. And rook c7. And then taking my rook. So I don't see a clever move there. But there are other options. Ah, if I, the bishop isn't really attacked, is it because of the pin? So we can just move the knight. Okay. I've taken the bishop, but I was going to x d1. So we want to kick the queen away if we can. Bishop g2, and the queen goes to h5. Unless there's some way that we can sacrifice the rook and then find a better rank. Or a threat on f7. I'm not seeing it immediately. So, that, oh yes, yeah, so we should start with queen b5. This is moving, it's only a while to see. But we can go bishop e2, and the queen can no longer attack the rook. Okay, here we just want to get rid of the bishop. We had those checkmate patterns already. Here, I guess I want queen h5 check and taking the knight. I need to dislodge the queen. Nope. And it's all going so well. Uh, here. It looks like one where we should be attacking these bishops and forcing them to clumsy squares. But they always, I find these positions incredibly confusing because I, what color am I to start with? I'm black. <sighs> okay. I was thinking I was white with the colors the other way around. So can I just take this one in h2? I don't need to stop this one. a6, g3, a, the one can't get that much further, right? Now I want to push the g pawn without dropping my bishop. Can I just take in g2? No, I couldn't. Okay, so a reason I can't take the rook on a1. Don't think if he takes my queen, I take king h2, rook doubled on that rank, take on d6. Tick tock, tick tock. Uh, I'll take and hope. Oh, that was right, apparently. Who knows why? Uh, let's check and just get rid of this pawn. And then I don't allow the queen exchange. Uh, right. I don't want that pawn getting any further. So this one is a book draw when the pawn is that far. My king could get into the corner in time. 
Now I want to get rid of my rook somehow. But my queen is hanging. Rotate h7 check feels like the right start. So how do we get further? So I go rotate f6. At least then I've got an open line for my queen. And check again and check again and again. So rook b4 wins this knight. But do I get in trouble on the back rank? No, I think I can take it with the rook, and then I'm okay. So I have the line back. I'm going to set this bishop and then fork. Okay, so I need to stop this d-pawn. King e7, king c7 is lost. Knight e7, check to d5, or knight d4, check to b5. Uh, I think I want to go this way. No. So 94 check was drawing there for some reason. Oh well, improved up to nine. I need a better start so that I'm not having to guess at the end. So I can either take the bishop and then queen, or I can take on c6. Stopping rookie eight being a problem. Take on f6. And then I can recapture. There's no rookie eight because f3 is hanging. So I can just take a queen, but do I have mate in one? That was an easy one. Uh, there's like another one where we want to get the queen in somehow. Queen e1 check or queen e3 checking h2. Don't look very likely. So, well, root g2 is not going to work. So I guess it's rookie three check. And then queen e1. And then I've actually get my queen and rook the right way around. So I had those queen e5 mate that came went forward. So take the queen or take on f2 with check first. I don't think there's going to be anything else. Struggling to see why not take the point f2 first. King h1 and then queen takes queen. Looks pleasant. We don't have any funny business with queening. And just. Maybe I don't want to carry on eating here. I have stronger with rook f3. Right. It's a pretty finish. So I deflect from defending there. And I don't like the queen, but the bishops do the job. Now we're close to mating if we can get a rook into the game. If I play rook to c5 immediately, then bishop to c4. So I I guess I give the exchange and then neither rook can get to the c file. This one looks like it must be rook c1 check. That one through. Now taking on g6 or take on e4. If we take on g6, can't take the queen, so it has to recapture with the queen. And then I take on e4 and it takes with the bishop. Or we take on e4 first, take with the rook. Then we can't take on g6 because the queen is hanging. There's no male on h7. Could throw on queen b8 check, rook eight, and then take on g6. But then h takes g6. Which of those is better? F takes G feels like it's winning. Oh, okay, I guess I didn't need to think about that for so long if uh, I was going to walk into the mate. Queen E7 is rather a big threat. Queen E8 allows Queen G7, so I guess Queen F6 
or rook e8. Queen f6, and this has our own checks. It looks like it should be. <clears throat> Watch it cancel. Here e6 or take on g6. e6, knight takes, take on f5, rook f6. Doesn't look like it's getting any further. So I guess we take. No, I want the queen to come in. Rich, you want queen f7, stops any further. So let's take the pawn. That brings the rook in check. Now I can play queen e8, check two. Is that more precise? Don't think it makes a difference. Now here. I want to deflect that queen from c7 for that rank. So is it this one? Rook a4 looks. I should do the business. Now I want to take. Rook j is a big threat. Rook h2 or queen f3 aren't working. We can't take in g7. I'm guessing we have to exchange queens. Now do I threaten mate myself and check, 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 and trust my king runs in the end? No. I had to guess again. But it's improving. I felt that I was uh, at least thinking a bit sensibly at that time. Um, Claude, this is on play Magnus rather than chess waiting for. Uh, right, we're black. Are we winning the king of one end game, or are we? We might be, but surely we're mating without it. We got. Okay, I need to focus more at the start before my time disappears, and it's guesswork. Now, what's the our queen is attacked? Looking at crazy things, I looked at f three and knight g three. I don't see why they'd work. Queen h4, threatens knight g3, king g1, then e2 and the rook moves, f knight f4. Now we don't need to move the queen, this is the whole point. A nice mate along the h file. Mm -hmm. I want the rook f1 check, but I don't see the point, I should replace rook. Uh, but there is a rook just hanging. If we take, bishop takes e4 and our rook is also attacked. So I just want it to be a situation where black has fewer pieces hanging than white. Strange position. Can we play some weirdness like rook e2? Rook takes rook. I don't see my fantastic follow up there either. If we just move the queen, then we'll see g4 is happening next move. So I'm not seeing a better move than taking the queen. But then after bishop takes e4, what are we playing? Then bishop f3, check, move the exchange. Let's go back to that. Now it's b3 setting on mating net here. Okay, so our attack is about to disappear because white is exchanging bishops. So it's going to have to be crashing through, I guess, with rook takes f3. The question is do we exchange on b4 first or not? If we exchange first on b4, that queen is on a very good square. Uh, and the king has access to g3. If we take on f3 first, take on d6, recapture, king takes f3. <clears throat> I don't see a follow up, but queen d5 might be doing the job. Now here I thought we could get in somehow. Queen d5 check and queen g2 check. Uh, 
I think it's a good time to take the, it wasn't a good time to take the bishop. Oh, uh, I'm white. Hmm, that one was very bad. Three. A queen a1, of course, was the move at the end. I just uh, didn't have enough time. Oh well. Uh, chant, time for a few more to see if I can improve a bit. So, bishop a7 attacks a rook. And it can't move, but bishop c6 attacks our rook. And that's a rook one check. We should start with rook e7, but then bishop f6. Oh, it seems to be bishop a7. Oh, it's at one move further ahead. And it's Peter was saying. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of a dragon here. Take on a6, take on c2. Do we have a good defense? If it's not take on a6, we're in trouble. Black's attack is obviously much stronger. We don't have a deflection move. But take on a6, take on c2. What move do we have there? Rook b2 check is a huge threat. So the queen comes back to a3, and we hope there's no more. A defensive one is kind of unusual. OK, rook e2 is the move I want to play. After queen takes f3, do we actually have a mate? Take on h2, king f1. My queen is very good there. So if we, then maybe I just take on f6, take the rook, queen h1, check, bishop h4, check. I'm getting lots of checks. But I don't see where they're leading. So I just take the bishop here, queen has three materials level. <coughs> I was wondering about queen f4, keep the strong pawn. But it might be a bit slow. Take on g7, rook e2, queen g3, you can win the queen. Does queen f4 do the job? I'm um, reluctant to play it. There's also something like knight d4 after it, and I'm not sure how much I'm gaining by including the moves. It feels like a situation where rookie two is the move, but I'm missing the follow up. Maybe I just, okay, let's go rookie two. Says one h2 with check. And here, do we have a better move than taking on f6? If rookie eight, the problem is after should take g7. Rook e3 might be working, but it feels a bit slow to me. Just following my instinct. I can't have the queen coming over. I guess we forced the king out. This is as far as I got with the checks. Rook e8 check, king d4. Or queen h3 check. Oh, that was it. Okay, I could have solved that a minute faster, but I still wasn't sure where the actual kill was. Uh, I'm going to have to go back to the guessing. Okay. Uh, so, queen h3 is a huge threat. Queen e3 check, rook g5, queen f5 check, take it. No, that wasn't it. Well, four was better than three. <laughs> but uh, still not very impressive. It's hard. Another position where everything's hanging. So if I take on a1, he can't have a rook because of bat rank. So he takes back. Then I take on f3. Take on e8, take on g2, I'm at least not worse there. 
and I thought a piece down with anything else looks necessary. I right, knew that was about right, mate. <clears throat> Here, what's going on? B1 queen is a threat. I don't have any checks. It says knights are covering. So do I play rook takes d7 check? If queen takes, queen b6 check, and at least I'm picking up another piece with check. King takes, I win the queen. So I stay with the knight. Then I go rook e8 check, probably. King c7. Queen g3 check. Should we try it? It looks like the right start. Nope. Might be the right start. Okay, the piece is lost here, right? Okay, now I want Queen is F3 checks so and Knight E3 looks to do the job. There's also Knight at H2, but Knight E3 must be right. Take things with check. Bishop takes f6 is a huge threat. Rook one check, king h4. Then do I have some g5 check, king h5, and then queen takes. Oops, not the queen yet. g5 check first, then the queen, and then the rook. <clears throat> Here we look like we would be in some trouble unless we can. Get our knight to do something. Oh, this is just misplaced. So we exchange on b5 and play knight c8. Rook a6. Not quite sure where that's going. Mm. What else is there? Uh, then rook eight, then bishop b7, and it's trapped here. Again, the key is to look one move over. So he has to go to d7, so it's not trapped. But now I was hoping we can do something against these pawns. But maybe I just make the draw with knight back to b6. This knight is such a bad piece. And now we trap it. Hmm, tricky. So if we take now, then our knight is hanging. Come out to c6. Knight is seven checked to c6. Uh, also trapped, so we should take c8, and then the rook is no longer trapped. Now we can take b4. We might have to give the piece up to stop the pawn, but we want a piece in the process. Okay, so both sides are trying to queen. If we don't play either c6 or king d7, I will king d8, but the pawn is just going to queen if we don't push ourselves. So I think we have to push to start. We can't allow push to take pawn checks and pawn again. And now we'd like to get rid of these bishops. What's going on here? We're black. G6 check wins a rook. I don't think there's any. Yeah, I don't think there's any problem. So we're set to E2, our queen is hanging. Uh, Three seconds, but we can pin them. Okay, here I want to get in at that king somehow. So we should... <clears throat> Not enough time again, but it's improving. And there's probably time for one more. Practice makes perfect on these puzzles. Okay, so d2 is a big threat. I think we need the king involved to stop it. No. 
Do I want to throw in b3 and then take on d4? Or take on d4 straight away? Take on d4 straight away, it's going to get into some trouble on the long diagonal. So if we play b3 is rook c4 possible. Queen b5, a4. Queen b6, and then bishop back. You know, the piece is sort of kept to sensible squares. So we take on d4, take take on c5, bishop takes b4, and then rook g5, and so attack. No. No, we had this one already, didn't we? Hmm. So obviously it's something to do with this bishop on c7. It's hanging. But we are a piece down now. Now we're going to play bishop f4 and exploit the better rank. Now the queen is trapped, so this is quite well known in these low places. Here that bishop on g6 is almost trapped. I don't think you can go to e4 because of the pin, so let's move the queen away and then trap it. <clears throat> Scandinavian. Uh, do we just take on d4? We're defending everything. Now, knight into the corner to win the piece. Simple fork. Now start some checks. Rook H8 check, Queen E8 check. We don't have the E4 square. But still. Hard to believe it's not Rook H8 check here. But maybe we start Rook F8 and just Rook F7. There's no check. So I think we need this check. Now we can play rook f8, queen e5, we're going to run out of checks. So I think we need queen e8 check. We didn't need queen e8 check. Okay, c4 and two pieces are going to be hanging. Now knight takes g7 and bishop h6. There's some mate threat as well. At least knight takes g7 attacks a rook. But just rook takes e7. And we don't have a check. Bishop h6 isn't going to really work because there are too many checks. So do I just go knight d6 and win the exchange? Oh no, it's not, not winning the exchange, it's mate on f7. Take on f2, then queen takes e1 check. But we have some checks of our own with queen g6. And then we can take that queen. Listen, so take the queen, knight g4, check. What's the material counter there? 2 4 for a pawn down. We do some weirdness with bishop d6. Maybe I need to throw in queen g6 check first. Now take the queen. Not take the queen. Mm. Okay, so I'm trying to exploit this rook. Uh, I don't have a queen, then I have no idea what. Can I just resign? I turn the square. Now can I just go back? Going forward looks like a death wish. Yep. Yeah. I think I can fork queen and bishop. Uh, my queen is hanging, so exchange queens first. <clears throat> Probably take this one f6 with a check, right? And now rook d4 is what I'd want to do. Bring final piece into the attack. And how now knight g5, there's queen e5. 
Ooh, running too short on time. Is it guess a move? It wasn't Queen H6. Oh well. It's supposed to improve a bit there. Um, I think that I might need to uh, finish up there because we're about to go to the Crypto Cup. Um, but that was hard work. I'll definitely need to do some more practice. So maybe drink some more coffee for it next time. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed watching. And yeah, that looks like a good tool on Play Magnus. It's my first time actually on the Play Magnus website. So I'll definitely try it out some more. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and uh, enjoy watching the Crypto Cup quarterfinals. Bye.